Hi guys, uh, welcome to Career Nectar. Your dream is our passion. See guys, in this video, today we'll talk regarding MCQ discussion on fisheries um, because many of the students has uh, requested us to come up with a um, video on MCQ. So today I am uh, discussing on fisheries. As uh, so, let let me start this video. Where is the Central Institute of Fishery Education situated? Where is the Central Institute of Fisheries Education situated? Yeh institute kaha pe hai? To answer to this question will be Mumbai. So don't just mug up this question. You should know other institute regarding the fisheries also. So this is the tabular column. You should go through this. Uh, just pause the video and take down it in your copy. Central Institute of Fisheries um, Education. This is uh, located in Mumbai. And uh, Central Institute of Fisheries Technology, this is uh, located in Kochi. And uh, Central Institute of uh, Freshwater Aquaculture, it is situated in Bhubaneswar. Central Institute of Brackish Water, it is in Chennai. Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute, it is in Kochi. Central Inland Fisheries Research Institution is in Barakpur. So you have to remember this institution uh, where they are situated. Okay. So let me go to the second question. Where is the Central Inland Fisheries uh, Research Institute, Institute is situated? So answer to this question will be Barakpur. So we have to know this uh, uh, because this is a revision question because in the earlier slide I have already discussed regarding this question. So this is just for revision to answer to this question will be option number A. Then which of the following is oblique are, are the phytoplankton eaters in case of your um, uh, fish species also they are divided into in accordance with their feeding habitat fishes are classified into the phytoplankton eater uh, which generally are the rahu and um, katla and uh, predatory fish eaters uh, these are the snake head uh, species and uh, in case of the water plant eater they are um, basically they are basically your um, Chinese uh, gas carp and the tilapia okay so these are the water plant eaters uh, chinese gas carp and the tilapia then we have the omnivorous uh, class another then which uh, generally comprise uh, catfish mrigala and tilapia okay so uh, so I'll come back to this question uh, which of the following uh, is oblique are, are the phytoplankton eaters so answer to this question will be all of this rahu katla chinese um, chinese uh, silver carp and all of this will be the correct answer so answer to this question will be option number d how much water is required in hatchery for spawning one kg of carp a kg carp ke spawning ke liye kitna water chahiye hatchery mein to answer to this question will be one meter cube so let me first discuss answer to this question will be option number b one meter cube now you have to remember this what is spawning first of all this is uh, the uh, this is uh, basically the release of eggs and sperm in the water we call it as a spawning process okay so in case of your uh, in case of your uh, fisheries uh, you have to know the how much water is required for in hatchery for spawning of one kg of carp okay so it is one meter global marine fish production is highest in global mil, uh, marine uh, fish production it is highest in case of which of the following so uh, option number a is south america option number b is north america option number c is asia and option number d is australia so answer to this question will be asia the global marine fish production is highest in asia active component of mohua well first of all you have to know uh, know that the mohua well it what it is it is basically a commonly a fish toxicant which we use in case of to, to restrict the weed or in the fisheries okay to restrict the um, weed fishes so uh, let me come to this uh, discussion all mohua well cake this is a fish toxicant first of all you have to remember this is a fish toxicant and then you have to remember this is a what is it it is a derivative of a plant now the name of the plant is also important basia latifolia is the space is this plant where from it is derived and the saponin is one of the component it is the active component of this is the saponin okay saponin is a is the active comp uh, component which is present in the which is present in the mohua well cake and which has a little effect on the fishes and the other organism so answer to this question will be the option number a saponin saponin is an active ingredient in or uh, in mohua well what is the area recommended for the stocking pond see there are the uh, three types of pond one is nursery pond one is rearing pond another one is the stocking pond so in case of your area recommendation for the post uh, for the 
for the stocking pond it is 1000 to 2000 meter square so option answer to this question will be uh, option number c so if it is a 100 to 500 meter square then it is a nursery pond if it is a 500 to 1000 meter square then it is a rearing pond okay do remember these two uh, other two also okay what is the recommended turbidity in the post stocking management in fisheries in case of your uh, post management uh, post stocking management you have to remember the water swell ph and you have to remember the temperature along with uh, uh, temperature along with turbidity as well as the harvesting period and times that you have to remember now the question here is they are asking what is the recommended turbidity in the post stocking management in fisheries so answer to this question will be up to 2000 ppm will be the correct answer this is a required this is a recommended turbidity up to which it is okay in the post stocking management in fisheries let me move to the ninth question the uh, fish which carries one or more foreign gene jo fish ek se zyada foreign genes carry karta hai us uh, fish ko hum log kya bolte this is called the transgenic fish we call it is a transgenic fish but other terms predatory fishes we uh, fishes that were weed we uh, basically it is a weed fish uh, option is like weed fishes okay and uh, an, and uh, larviboras fishes we will discuss this terms now now you first remember what is weed fish okay the weed fishes are those fish which have a great number uh, which have a good uh, pedanticity now what is pedanticity that is a uh, if it is a uh, if a uh, fish has a good uh, rate of producing the young ones this is called the pedanticity okay so which produces large number of young ones we call it a weed fish and the predatory fishes which live on the smaller fishes we call them as predatory fishes and in case of the transgenic fishes uh, the, which carries the one or more genes which i already discussed in the last question larviboras animal larvi, uh, larviboras uh, fishes are those which uh, feed on the mosquito larva okay throughout their life is called the larviboras uh, larviboras uh, fishes now let uh, this is the last question which of the following holds first rank in terms of importance in uh, india uh, in terms of importance in case of uh, fishes uh, which of the uh, which of the following has the holds the first rank in the terms of importance okay so in india the rahu has got the utmost importance remember that rahu has got the utmost importance then followed by katla then mirigal so answer to this question will be option number a rahu okay so this is the end of this session guys uh, do like and subscribe our video and uh, do not forget to press the bell icon so that uh, you can get the regular notification uh, okay and uh, thank you and have a very nice day from entity team of career nectar thank you